I, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I know. But all I know, what I've been saying looks like to be true. Because they are after me. I got four, even up to five helicopters at one time around my house looking for me. I pulled over here to the side and I decided to take it to a vlog. I'm getting the hell out of here. These people think they after me. They think they're gonna get me. They think they're gonna clean. I'm next on the list. Is that so? You've been trying me for a while now. And you failed. And you will continue to fail. Because I know what I'm doing. And I know what you're doing. So guys, I don't know where I'm headed, but we got the Tesla. And they've been having a hard time keeping up. So our first stop is gonna be at Baltimore, Maryland. Then, uh, Petersburg, Virginia, then North Carolina, South Carolina, another stop at South Carolina. These are short stops. They're probably going to charge us right to 80% and then we're going to go a couple of miles to the next one. Then a Jacksonville, Florida, and then we reached our, our destination. Look at seven stops, but they're short stops when it comes to these helicopters that's following me. Manhattan is supposed to be a no-fly zone. I know this is more than likely NYPD. So NYPD is trying to kill me. Uh, NYPD is shooting me with the infrared, lasers, all of this nonsense. It's a no-fly zone. So if, if, if this is truly not NYPD, they can't follow me with all these helicopters over the city, Manhattan. We're gonna see if they're still following me in Manhattan, little old me. I'm just a healthcare worker that knows the truth. City, Canal Street. If you know the area, you're very familiar with it. They're still there. They're still following me. They're just higher up in the air. You guys are not gonna see, but they're there. The stuff that I spoke about was 100%. This is a parasite. This is a parasitic infection mixed with magnetic metals. And boy, when that spread through your body, because of the flu that I took in 2017, it spread through mines. I feel the pull. I feel the tug throughout my body. My formula that works, but it doesn't work to isolate everything in one place. I would have probably been dead by now if that happened. All right, okay, so. It's in autopilot while I talk to you guys. So why do I have my head wrapped up like this? Now I just added literally a padded underwear on my head because I got to put stuff to protect my head. They're trying to hold on to my liver, my kidney, my uh, uh, muscles in my legs. Everywhere where the parasites died, they leave back the heavy metals. So they're putting a magnetic pull on me. It's like having a dog on a leash. I'm the freaking dog though. I'm not a punk. You understand? You're not gonna have me like a little sucker. So, so now that they can't get nothing, they're grabbing, literally gripping my head like it's in a vice grip. All these things are magnets. The 5G is nothing but a big magnet. These helicopters are carrying a big mag magnet. And then the other day I saw the mothership on the highway. I'm tired of being gripped and grabbed. Four or five helicopters, they go into Manhattan. They thought I was taking the West Side Highway. But nah, man, you wanna follow me? 
Let's see how far. So far, I don't see them, but I know they're there because I feel them in my head. I'm gonna like really get this pattern on my head properly because uh, I, I don't like my head being squeezed. This is so unfair. 26 years of my life dedicated to help people and this is what I get in return. I can't even enjoy retirement. Do you know how many nurses that retire and within five years of retiring, they're dead? They're dead, uh, they just die in their beds, die in their sleep, all type of stuff. We don't get to enjoy our retirement after this type of um, profession. All right guys, you see that thing blinking? That's the mothership. In one mile, keep the left to stay on far. US Highway 1. Yes, we're in Delaware. Wow, I had to use the bathroom. But anyway, I made it. Um, this is not a charging area, so I would have probably taken a charge. We're on I-95, uh, 320. I have about another hour to reach the charging station, which is gonna be in Baltimore. Now stay straight to take the Interstate 95 South Ramp. started to rain pretty much got here around the same time it was predicted and uh, we're gonna go fast charge now yeah I had the 21st century duppy but every now and again I do feel a pressure in my head so that must be coming from the regular 5g nodes they all run the same program it's the same AI even though the helicopters right I street. assume is manual Assuming I plan on doing a trip to these helicopter landing places and see what kind of information I can get. But we're dealing with laser scanning devices, infrared, and an EM pulse. In other words, it's an EMP. So you're getting the magnetic pulse that's shooting down on you or pulling on you. And if you have enough metals in your body, oh boy, you feel it. And it makes your heart beat very fast. This is how they've been giving people heart attacks. So in for those feet, folks out there who, who took flu shot, took the back took multiple flu shots you are full of metals absolutely full now turn of left. metals you have it worse than me I cannot imagine what you might go through you gotta receive the sunlight so here we go In so this charge you will arrive at your destination so this charging station is in a mall or a shopping center I should say I don't see the charges. Yeah, I see the charges.
right, so we are in Baltimore, Maryland, in Boston Street. And we're at a 250 kilowatt supercharger. And it says we're only going to be here for 25 minutes. So it's 434 right now. We should be out of here about 450 or so. This is pretty cool. The story that I've been telling people is that this is a parasite. This is a parasitic infection. Stop focusing on the spike protein and all that scientific stuff. None of us are scientists. Here's what we know. Here's what we know that's in plain English. They are synthetic salts in the vacuum. There is insect larva in the vacuum. Insect larva. So in other words, insect eggs. And there's sucrose in the what is that gonna do to your body? Those are the main ingredients that I've focused on. So insect larva. So in other words, you're in you're injecting a parasitic organism in our body. So when it nurtures and get produced, it's insects roaming around your body. But within that insect larva is heavy metals magnetic metals now even though they do admit there's aluminum in there which probably is but there is magnetic metals in there it could be cobalt it could be iron it could be a mixture i don't know but what i know is what i feel in my organs in my legs and i'm seeing my patient no. And now some of my staff members are feeling the same thing that I'm feeling. This is going to become apparent very fast. And I've been lax in putting out these videos because i really nervous about this whole situation. And I haven't been able to edit because they've been shooting me with this infrared that's been toasting my body. This is why I was wondering every time I sit down at my desk how I can't finish editing a video which I would normally finish with very fast. But they've been wearing me down. And now that I block them inside my house, they've come with the helicopters. Look how the screen is nice and clear. You see it? You see that light? Look at it. Look. 